Hey y'all, this is Anthony from Rockin' Prince and thanks for watching this video. Today we're gonna be working with coaster blanks. I'm also gonna create a Father's Day graphic in CorelDRAW X8 and then we're gonna go ahead and print it on my Sawgrass SG400. After that, we're gonna press it on my 15 by 15 heat press and we'll see how this turns out. So I hope y'all like this video and if you do, please remember to hit the subscribe button. If you want the best benefit of this tutorial, please remember to stick around to the very end. So with that, let's go ahead and get this started. Okay guys, welcome back. And today we're gonna work on coasters and we're gonna create a design. We're gonna um, say best dad ever for Father's Day. And let's go ahead and get started. So first in CorelDRAW X8, I'm gonna go to new. And we're just gonna get some font here. We're gonna type in best dad ever and um, I'll go ahead and capture that we'll make it um Algerian bring this out and we're gonna center it okay I'll bring this towards the middle and then I'm just gonna freehand this stuff here we're just gonna do some crazy loops here All right, and we'll start straightening those out. Okay, so go here. We're just going to clean them up. I'm going to double click on them and start straining them out. Get rid of these notes here. Okay. Alright, that looks kind of straight. Let's go to here. Get rid of those. Okay. There, I thought we were gonna, I hope we lost the shape. It 
takes a while to do this. It's a little tedious, but um, once you get the circles, everything starts looking a lot better, okay? I mean, you start straightening out the shapes. Everything looks good. Okay, that looks good. Looks good.
want to make make sure that they all have like a curl effect we don't want it like a straight straight line per se Alright guys, for some reason this part didn't record, so it just skips into uh, to the image. But what I want to show you is when I made the lines, okay, and after I straightened them up, dated it, I hit Control D, and I'll zoom in. I just want to show you real quick what I did here. And then I just basically grabbed them and moved them down to where I got them close to each other you can see right there and then I grab both of them together and I hit control L to group them and I hit my space bar and hit my space bar okay and then I just grab the nodes and up here you can see it says convert I mean I'm sorry right here you can see it says join two nodes I joined them together and I did the same thing for the other side, joined them together, and then I just painted them, okay? And that's how I made the, the effects on the graphics, okay? Okay, so let's go back here. We're gonna create this box. Back to the freehand. And we're just going to duplicate this one. Control D, take this back over here so I don't have to repeat myself. And um, that one is connected. I don't know what happened here, but that's okay. All right. Okay. And one more. Right there. All right. Okay, we're just go back to the layout. Enhance and then view. Go ahead and weld that together. All right, everything should be welded. Okay, good. So now we'll be able to see our notes here so we can straighten them out. There we go. There's one. Sometimes it might not let you. So you just have to do the best you can. Okay, that's good. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> Here we got 
two more that we got to do here. Again, this should have been loaded. It all right now. We're just gonna fix this here. view. Okay, cool. Okay. We're just going to take this and we're going to do control D. And we're going to bring this one down. And we're going to go to flip this upside down. Bring these up and bring this one here and we'll stretch it out a little bit further just like that okay cool bring that up here Just get rid of these. Okay. And bring this down a little bit. Right there. Bring this one up. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got this cool feature that I use in um, uh, it's called Smart Designer Command Center. You can pick this up in ProWorld.com, um, ProWorldInc.com, and I'll leave the link down below. And this is actually called Special Effects. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna paint these letters 
Okay, so cool. Cool color. Let's do let's do this one. There we go. We'll do actually it's called deep deep navy blue. Okay, we'll go here. Alright. And what I'm gonna do is let me group those back together. And I'm just gonna double click on the blend eleven. And see how that comes out but before I do that I want to use objects colors all right <clears throat> okay so we'll just make these white and a gray and make them gray and we're gonna give them like a black text uh, a black outline on them Four. Give them four. All of them are four. Black. I'll make them gray first. Get everybody gray. Okay. All right. And then here we're just going to do a. Um, it's called uh, add per perspective. We'll just give it a cooler shape here. Okay. We'll bring it down. like a chrome effect here Sometimes, I don't know, I don't know what, what happens here, but there we go, okay, I'm just going to go here, grab that, we're going to group those, nothing escapes from us, and 
let's see what it looks like behind a black triangle here. Let's group those together. Bring it in here. We're going to back to page. And there you go. here. I really don't know what happened there, but it's okay. We can fix it. Okay. And then we'll just, um, we'll go ahead and fix these. Let's go ahead and go to here, ungroup. We'll just bring those here. so I don't lose them. Okay, let's put those together. Right there. Okay. Right. And lastly, we can just probably just draw a line here. A triangle, I mean. Do three, control D. And we'll just take it up like that. Put it right there. Give it a cray. this here Okay, and then we'll go ahead and add that, add special effects to that. Okay, and we'll do the same thing with that. Go ahead and give it a color. that special effect all right and last one and that there bring this down shorten this bad boy up a little bit we're gonna thin it out thin it that and arch it okay and we'll get that one effect all right guys I like it all right now that we got it saved to a PNG let's go ahead and take it to uh, creative studios okay guys so I got creative studio up 
and we're going to go on and select the material that we're going to use on the template. So we'll go here to Tile and Ceramics. And we're going to drop this down and it doesn't really say like coasters. So we just got to pick something that looks kind of close to it. Here's a four by four square tile. Okay, so that's kind of close. So we'll use that. All right. All right, let's go ahead and drop our image in. All right. And we're just going to add a background color. Just type in black. There we go. Okay. And then here, we're just going to send this to the back, send backwards. Um, we'll go ahead and scale that so it's all dark. That's good enough. Okay. Bring it to the best we can build it. All right, now let's go ahead and print this on the printer. What I'm using right here is a Sawgrass SG400. It's a sublimation printer. Now you're gonna see the dye. It looks very faint, but actually the dye is actually embedded into the paper and when you print it that's when the full color comes out okay all right guys so i got my heat press set to 280 degrees for 45 seconds i didn't show me pressing it because i recorded it and it didn't come out so it's already in the making it's already pressing right now we got um we're just waiting for the time to go down and then we'll see how it comes okay, out. Okay, we're just about done. Got about 10 seconds here. All right. Let's remove that. Get some gloves here because this is too hot. Way too hot. All right, so I had to grab some gloves because this was just way too hot this time. Okay, so just going to peel this off and look at that. Look at how nice it came out. The colors came out very. The colors are very vibrant. Um, right here, you don't want to do that because that. Just might ruin the, the pattern right there, the color. Okay, so hopefully I get lucky. I, yep, I got lucky. Okay, but look at that guys, check that out. Check out that coaster. Look at how vibrant that looks. And that was all off of a uh, sublimation paper. Okay, and I was using text R paper. So there you go, you can make some quick money here um, make some father's day coasters for friends and family um sell them to customers and make a quick a quick buck okay very easy to make and um it was this was very fun to do so hope you all like this video and if you did please remember to hit the subscribe button i greatly appreciate it and also leave a comment thanks again for watching y'all have a blessed day and we'll see you guys back soon next week Talk to you guys later. Be safe out there and peace.